हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अखिल रावत एंड आई एम परसुइंग बैचलर्स इन ऑप्टोमेट्री एंड ऑप्थेलमिक टेक्नीशियन फ्रॉम इम्पैक्ट पैरामेडिकल एंड हेल्थ इंस्टीट्यूट सो टूडे आई एम गोन टेल यू अबाउट द एनाटमी ऑफ द कंजन टाइवा सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट इट सो कंजन टाइवा इज़ अ ट्रांसल्यूसेंट म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन विच लाइन्स द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस ऑफ द आईलेट्स एंड एंटीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द आई बॉल it stretches from the lid margin to the limbus and encloses a complex space called conjunctival sac which is open in front at the palpebral fissure so now we know the parts of conjunctiva conjunctiva can be divided into three parts palpebral conjunctiva bulbar conjunctiva and fornicial conjunctiva first is palpebral conjunctiva Palpebral conjunctiva is the part of the conjunctiva a clear membrane that coats the inside of the eyelid and it can be divided into marginal tarsal and orbital conjunctiva second one is bulbar conjunctiva it is thin transparent and lay loose over the underlying structure and thus can be moved easily It is separated from the anterior sclera by episcleral tissue and tenons capsule. And the last is fornicial conjunctiva. It is laying at the junction between the palpebral conjunctiva and bulbar conjunctiva. Each eye has two fornices, the superior and inferior fornices. And now we know the microscopic structure of conjunctiva. Conjunctiva consists of three layers mainly epithelium adenoid layer and fibrous layer Epithelium is a 2 to 5 layered non keratinized epithelium It also contains goblet cells which constitute about 10% of epithelium The layer of the epithelium are divided into different parts as follows It is divided into marginal conjunctiva, tarsal conjunctiva, fornix, and bulbar conjunctiva, and the last is limbal conjunctiva. And second is adenoid layer. It is also called lymphoid layer and consists of fine connective tissue reticulum in the meshes of which lay lymphocytes. This layer is most developed in the fornices. It is not present since birth. but develops after 3 to 4 months of life it develops after 3 to 4 months of life and the last is fibrous layer it consists of a mesh work of collagenous and elastic fibers it is thicker than the adenoid layer except in the region of tarsal conjunctiva so guys i hope you all are better understood about this topic thank you